I'm going to talk about the safety feature on the HP 2000. When you feed the wire through, it takes a little bit long time to feed, to feed it through. So when you push the trigger at the, in the beginning when you're feeding the wire, you need to keep pushing it until it comes through the gun. When you push the, the trigger, it keeps feeding and then it will stop. When it recognizes there is no welding going on, the machine shuts off. So when you're feeding the wire, when you push the trigger, it stops. You need to re-push it again until it comes through the gun. So keep pushing the trigger until it fits through the gun. Explain a few things onto the HP 2000. If you have the switch onto the spool gun, when you push the trigger, the driver is not going to it will make a contact, but it won't turn. So babe, you need to uh, push the the drive uh, so we'll connect to the drive motor so now it's when you push the trigger it starts fitting the wire through in this particular unit it has a special device on it if the if the trigger is pushed if it's not welding the system shuts off so it it means uh, somebody left the gun on so it has a safety feature on it so at the first time when you feed the wire through the gun you keep have to Push it in a couple times until just keep continue pushing it until you fit the wire all the way coming through. Because if you don't, if it doesn't come all the way through, it shuts up because it thinks the somebody put the gun on some material. And as soon as it doesn't have a contact for a couple seconds, the motor shuts off so it doesn't make any sparks or anything until. So in the beginning, you need to keep pushing the trigger until the wire comes through all the way through the gun.